Hey, what's happening, guys? So, uh, if you follow me on Twitter at all, recently I picked up, uh, all my retro video games that I've been collecting, like, uh, prior to 2004. Um, I got really into collecting RPGs for a while. Actually, a bunch of them seem to be not here, but it's all good. Um, I still got most of the games from back in the day, and I just thought I would, uh, show you them. I don't know. Um, anyway, so, I'll, I guess I'll start with the, uh, Super Nintendo games first, and then games, I guess. Uh, so the first game is Michael Jordan, uh, Chaos in the Windy City, which I remember being pretty bad, but it's kind of ridiculous because it's a, I mean, it's not even a basketball game, it's just a side store where you throw basketballs, which is pretty crazy. Um, next up is, uh, Sim City, and, I mean, I already did a review of this, so, you know, I like it, it's good. Um, one of the weird things I noticed about this version of it in particular, though, is that uh, most of the older versions just have this strip here instead of having this type of uh, uh, bottom, so I guess this was like a reprint of it or something? I don't know. I don't know. If anyone knows anything about that, let me know. Um, next up is definitely a reprint of uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. And, uh, this was part of the, uh, Player's Choice Million Seller series. It has, like, that gold, uh, logo or whatever. Hopefully, I was getting that. Either way, uh, yeah, you know, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past is probably my favorite Zelda game. Probably? I think it is. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, and this one has the, uh, instead of having the gold background, it has the, uh, texture, I guess. Looks like marble, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, so there's Zelda. Uh, and then that Jurassic Park right here. I never really enjoyed this game. Actually, I'm not even sure why I own it. Um, but, yeah. Uh, weird top-down isometric view when you gotta click eggs, and I I don't know. I don't really like this game very much, but uh, I mean, I imagine some people may yeah. have. Especially with the weird uh, 3D parts to it. Uh, there's, like, when you go inside a building, it's just like this, like, uh, 3D view, I guess. I mean, it's still on a 2D console, but it switches to this weird 3D view, and it's really hard to figure out what exactly you're looking at and what's going on, but... Anyways, there's Jurassic Park. Uh, next up, and I actually have two copies of this now because I rebought bought it recently, is uh, Killer Instinct, the original version for the Super Nintendo. Uh, this is actually one of the only... one of the very few games that came in not a great cartridge for the uh, Super Nintendo. I think it's one of the only three, not counting 3D Noah's Ark. But, yeah, Killer Instinct's pretty good. Um, actually, my review of Killer Instinct was when I kind of started to normalize my reviews, so that was a bit of a milestone for me. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good game. I mean, it's uh, probably one of the best fighters, I think, on the Super Nintendo, in all honesty, I think. I don't know. Uh, I mean, Street Fighter's pretty good, but Killer Instinct was really cool back in the day, and it actually came with a soundtrack back in the day called Killer Cuts, which was pretty cool. Um, it was one of the first games I remember coming with music CD, so that was neat. Um, next up is uh, Claymates. And I really wish I had this complete in package because it had really cool uh, hologram box art for it. But I just have the cartridge. It's actually um, pretty good. I like it a lot. This game gets a lot of really negative reviews online. But um, I, I thought it was... It's, it's pretty hard. I mean, like especially like once you get to like the third or fourth world, it gets pretty hard. But... Um, Overall, I, I always really enjoyed Claymates. I thought it was really interesting. You play as, like, this clay ball that can, like, transform into, like, all these, like, little uh, animals. And it's all, like, clay themed. So I I think they used um, digitized imaging from it. Like, they, like, created these clay things, and then they took pictures of them and then digitized them. But it's, pre it's pretty cool. I don't know. Um, I, I like it. There was a huge, uh, lot of clay stuff back in the 90s. Um, next up, I have, uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, I think? Yeah, U Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. So that actually, um, at this point now, I only need Mortal Kombat 1, and I'll have a complete, uh, Super Nintendo Mortal Kombat set. Uh, if I remember right, this one was really good, but when they came out with Mortal Kombat on the N64, that one is really good. Mortal Kombat Trilogy for the N64. I think this is basically the same thing, except, uh, running on Super Nintendo hardware, basically. I could be wrong, I mean correct me in the comments if I am, but yeah, it's pretty good, um, and actually, this is pretty crazy, there wasn't a whole lot of mature games that were actually rated M back in the day, and, uh, this was one of them, so that's pretty neat, uh, next up, 
we have The Tick, which I reviewed recently, and it's not a very good game, but the minute I saw this on sale, I had to get it brand new, and I picked it up like the... I didn't even know if there was a game for The Tick, and I just went ahead and picked it up. Kind of wish I had read a review before it, but whatever. I mean, I love The Tick. It's a really good TV series, if anything. Um, game's not great, but whatever. I mean, it's a beat-em-up. What are you gonna do? Uh, next up I have uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, and this is actually the sequel to uh, the original NBA Jam game. Um, I don't really remember what they changed about it, but NBA Jam's awesome, um, and I would highly recommend playing the next-gen version, or current-gen, or whatever you want to call it, uh, for um, the Xbox, PlayStation 3, I think it also came out on like, the iPad and stuff. Uh, it's a lot funner with a controller, I have it on my phone, but... It's, it doesn't, you, you need a controller, it's, it's much better than a controller, but anyways, NBA Jam Term Edition, super sweet, I remember, um, there used to be a code that lets you play as Bill Clinton in this, I think, or, uh, and there's like Prince Charles and stuff, and there might have been the original NBA Jam, but th those were pretty cool codes, I used to always play as, uh, Larry Bird all the time in that, I think there, yeah, there was quite a few characters you could, uh, you could, uh, play as if you, uh, entered the right name, and the name that you're screen. so, anyways, NBA Jam's great, um, next up, and this was actually requested uh, after the first episode I did of uh, Don't Play This. Um, he was a butthead. Which, other than the intro screen where you can make them, like, go, hat, hat, I don't really remember too much about it. I mean, it was a side scroller. I remember you could play two players simultaneous, which was really good back in the day because you don't really. You don't, there wasn't a whole lot of simultaneous gameplay games uh, up until N64 or Beyond or whatever. I don't know. Um, apparently I paid 13 bucks for this back in the day, so I got ripped off, but whatever. Um, anyways, next up we have, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> this is a good one, Earthworm Jim, which is awesome. Earthworm Jim is so much fun, um, except I hate that one level where you have to walk that dog. That's not fun, but the rest of the game is really good. I actually really like how, um, when you shoot, you don't actually see the bullets flying or whatever, it just kind of is blank space, and you can just kind of see the animation coming from your gun, but it gave it a really unique feel uh, compared to a lot of games back when this came out, so, uh, yeah, I, Earthworm Jim's great, I totally recommend playing that. And then next up, I have something kind of weird, um, I don't know if these are rare or if many people have these, this is an official Nintendo, uh, cartridge, or, uh, console cleaner. So you just put this thing in, and it's supposed to clean out your cartridge or your console, and uh, it actually comes apart. And uh, it uses this little piece here for, uh, for cleaning it. You can actually see a bunch of pin marks on it from how many times I've used it over the years. But and they actually used to have an NES one too. I uh, don't have it anymore, but it was like an NES cartridge with a giant uh, square missing from it, and it was like a little bit longer. Uh, that worked pretty well. Um, I mean, nowadays there's much more tried and true methods for getting uh, an NES to work. If you've ever seen the uh, video that Renry did, uh, where she mentions that you should wiggle it side to side, that actually really works. It works really well. I used to always uh, make NES games work by um, hooking the cartridge on the edge of the Nintendo and kind of slamming it down, which usually works too. Um, blowing in the system and blowing in the car cartridges doesn't really seem to work. Any I mean, I don't know, I don't need to talk about that, you guys probably already know everything about that, so... And then I have Super Empire Strikes Back, and this is actually, weirdly enough, the third copy of this game I own, so... For some reason I keep getting copies of this game, and I keep giving them away, but right now I guess I have two copies. Um, this actually had two different printings of it. There's the, uh, JVC printing, and I can't remember what the other company who made it was, but, uh... The JVC print printing has a, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but... The uh, sticker is a lot shinier than the other version. The other version has a really matte looking finish. So the JVC version is definitely the better of the two. Um, and then I've got two Mega Man X games, which were really good. These games are really, really good. Uh, yeah, I'm super stoked to sit down and play these again. I, I love Mega Man, and Mega Man X was great. Such a great leap to the uh, 16 bit consoles. And, uh, I really like the uh, like, wall clinging dynamics and stuff that were added into it. I don't know. Mega Man X is awesome. Uh, I was, when I first saw this one looking through the uh, cartridges last night, I was like, please let this be Mega Man 3, but it's 2. But whatever. It's still, I mean, it's still pretty valuable, actually, but 
yeah. Um, and you know, I actually really haven't played Mega Man 3 very much, but that's not too surprising because it's super rare. Anyways, uh, so moving on to a couple of the RPGs that I had. Um, some of them are missing. I used to have Final Fantasy 2, but I don't know where that went, so. Um, but anyways, the next three are uh, some pretty awesome RPGs. Uh, for instance, Super Mario RPG, which is super good. Um, I really wish that Paper Mario had uh, kind of stuck to this format a little bit more. And, um, wow, that's weird. It has a pre-played sticker on the back. I actually thought I had bought... Well, I know I bought this brand new the day it came out, but I have no idea what happened to my original version of this. Hmm. Either way, looks like I got it for 25 bucks back in the day, which uh, nowadays is actually probably a pretty good deal. Uh, prices were so in flux back then. Uh, I mean, I paid, uh, I think, 30 bucks for a Mega Man 3 back in, like, 99, so... Uh, prices were a little crazy back then, but Super Mario RPG, super duper 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 good RPG. Um, I especially like how uh, Bowser joins your team, and I, you know, it'd be really cool if we could see like Mello or Gino uh, appear in like a Super Smash game, or if they like revisited those characters. I don't know. I don't think Nintendo's ever revisited a lot of the characters from this game, uh, and I think it'd be pretty cool if they brought back like Mallow would be sick in Super Mario RPG. So I don't know. It's really or not in Super Super Smash Brothers. Sorry, um, really good game. Uh, obviously, uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, next up is one of my favorite games ever, Final Fantasy III, which is extremely good. Whoa, sounds like the board's a little loose. That's weird. Anyways, uh, yeah, Final Fantasy III is awesome. Um, I think, uh, yeah, actually, I don't even think, I'm sure this is my favorite Final Fantasy game, hands down, Final Fantasy III slash six in Japan. Um, it was really amazing, and then when it kind of took the leap to 3D, I I mean, people love 7, but it's all about 3 Anyways, uh, last up for the uh, Super Nintendo games is a uh, pretty expensive one, and also my favorite game of all time, Earthbound. And I actually paid uh, 80 bucks for this back in the, er or in the late two er early 2000s, late 90s, I think is when I got it. And I ended up paying 80 bucks for it because the price is already starting to rise and the price is just skyrocketed and it's completely ridiculous now. But um, yeah, Earthbound is great. I did a couple Let's Plays of this. I don't think I'm going to keep doing Let's Plays because I don't really... I mean, I don't watch them and uh, nobody else really watched the ones I made, so whatever. But uh, someday I might do a review of this. I just want to get good enough to do the game justice. Uh, Earthbound is just fantastic. I... I love this game so much. It's so good. Anyways, so that's uh, it for the Super Nintendo games. So we're going to move on to just a couple of the uh, NES games that I got yesterday. I only got eight back. Um, I wasn't really the biggest NES collector back in the day. I've gotten, gotten way more into it recently. But um, So yeah, let's uh, take a look at what, what we got here. So I have uh, the Moffat Conspiracy. And uh, right around the time I got my first job, around 2004... Um, I got really into using eBay, and there was a lot of eBay lots for old NES games that cost, like, nothing. So, this is one of the games that I got in one of those eBay lots. I honestly cannot remember a thing about this game. I, I, is it good? I don't know. Leave it in the comments. I don't know. Probably gonna play it today. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Anyways, um, well, yeah, and it's made by Vic Tokai, so, I mean, it can't be too bad. They usually make pretty good games, right? So, um, next up is Double Dragon, which is a great beat-em-up, uh, kind of the, the standard for beat-em-ups beat -up, almost. The uh, sticker's a little wearing off here, and it looks like it used to belong to someone named Daniel Whiteman. So, if you're watching this, Daniel Whiteman, I got your game! Anyways, uh, yeah, Double Dragon's awesome. I actually prefer the NES version over the arcade version, which I played recently at uh, the 1UP Club in Denver. Um, I, I mean, it's just the one I've played more, so I, I've always just liked it. Um, it's kind of slow-paced for a beat-em-up nowadays, but uh, I, Double Dragon's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed uh, Double Dragon vs. Battletoads, which I don't own, but I would like to at some point. Next up, we have Ninja Gaiden, which I actually always thought was made by Konami, because it has a pretty similar uh, HUD to uh, Castlevania, but... Yeah, I mean, I really liked this game back in the day. I don't remember it being as hard as everyone says it is, but I think that could just be me not really remembering the game that well. 
Um, it's great. I like it a lot. Anyway, so the next uh, four games up are all uh, Capcom games, which uh, is probably my favorite company that made games for the NES. So first up, we have uh, a classic, DuckTales, which uh, is really good. And I actually kind of like the uh, HD remix for it, too. I thought that game was pretty good. Um, DuckTales is awesome. It was one of the best games on the NES, I felt like. Uh, the pogo mechanic was great, and it's just a really, really, really good game. Uh, anyways, next up, we have two Mega Man games. Uh, Mega Man 3 and 4, and uh, I actually traded my copy of Bucky O'Hare for the copy of uh, Mega Man 4 I have here, which I kind of regret now as the way the prices have gone, but this is still a really good game. Uh, Mega Man 4 actually introduced the Imbuster to the series, which was uh, the ability for Mega Man to charge up his, uh, like, just standard attack, which I thought was a pretty good addition to the game, but it's not as good as Mega Man 3 which is probably the best of the original classic Mega Man games. I really like the Mega Man X games, but in terms of the 8-bit style uh, Mega Man games, Mega Man 3 I think is really just where it's at because it added the slide mechanic, which was really good, but it also had a really classic soundtrack as well as uh, like the robot bosses were all really good. And it also, had the, it was the first one that had cover art that uh, wasn't uh, horrible. Um, I mean, I like the old Mega Man cover art, but this was actually more realistically depicts well, it doesn't really, really realistically depict what's in the game, but it's a cool cover. I like it. Anyways, and last up is uh, the first video game I ever owned, and if you've watched my series, Our First Games, you probably know what it is. Chippendale Rescue Rangers for the NES. Um, back in 1989, when I got my NES for Christmas, uh, this was the game I got with it, which was kind of a disappointment at the time because I really wanted Mario. Um, and that was the main game I was familiar with, so I was like, oh man, I just want Mario 1. But, turns out Chip and Dale was a really good game too. I mean, uh, it's awesome. It's one of the first games that had uh, two-player simultaneous uh, play in a side-scrolling game. Um, I don't think it's the, probably not the first, but it's one of the first. Uh, I think this game also came out in 1989. Uh, really, really good. I highly, uh, highly recommend Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Uh, the sequel is not as good, but it's really expensive. Um, Anyways, so, yep, that's uh, pretty much this whole pickup thing. Uh, that's my whole retro game collection from prior to 2004. I haven't seen these games in like 10 years, so it's super duper duper awesome to get back. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's a pretty big departure from what I usually do, since I don't usually even go on camera. But uh, anyways, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, have a good one, you know?